Hello, and welcome to this briefing. This hour in focus, we'll be looking at the in-depth composite materials used in the production and manufacture of Aptera's Solar EV. It is factual that Aptera's body parts and compositions have made it a super vehicle. Consisting of solar panels which offer 700 solar watts and extra 400 miles on a single charge, a carbon bin C body, and power wheels capable of a three-wheel drive. Aptera has got some real potential. Now let's look at these features and details. We will be diving into the chemical structure of carbon bin C and what makes it so strong. In addition, we will equally see why Aptera can still be a very stable car while driving despite having just three wheels and not forgetting the very defining factor of Aptera. That is its solar power capabilities and more. Sit back and enjoy. Let's get on. Carbon fiber is a material consisting of thin, strong crystalline filaments of carbon. Essentially carbon atoms bonded together in long chains. The fibers are extremely stiff, strong and light, and are used in many processes to create excellent structural materials. Carbon fiber offers a variety of benefits including high stiffness and stiffness to weight ratio, high tensile strength and strength to weight ratio, high temperature tolerance with special resins, low thermal expansion, and high chemical resistance. Carbon fiber is made in black strands or yarns called taus and comes in a variety of formats, including spools of tau, unidirectional formats, weaves, braids, and others, which are used to create carbon fiber composite parts with lightweight, but very strong. When fabricating a composite part, a multitude of different processes can be utilized, including wet layup, vacuum bagging, resin transfer, match tooling, insert molding, pultrusion, and many other methods. In addition, the selection of the resin allows for tailoring specific properties such as elevated temperature or chemical resistance. Carbon fiber is extremely stiff, strong, and light. It is typical in engineering to compare the properties of materials in terms of their strength to weight ratio and stiffness to weight ratio, particularly in structural design where added weight may translate into increased life cycle costs or unsatisfactory performance. What are the mechanical properties of carbon fiber composite parts? The stiffness and strength along any specific axis in a carbon fiber composite part depend not only on fiber and resin mechanical properties, but also on fiber placement and orientation, and fiber resin ratio, typically approximately 50 50 ratio. A typical value for the stiffness of a carbon fiber composite plate would be 10 MSI. And its strength would be 90 KSI. Stiffness to weight ratio plain weave carbon fiber reinforced laminate has an elastic modulus of approximately 8 MSI. And a volumetric density of about 0.05 LBS. In 3, the stiffness to weight for this material is 160, it's 106. By comparison, the density of aluminum is 0.10 LBS in 3, which yields a stiffness to weight of 100, 106. The density of 4130 steel is 0.30 LBS in 3, which yields a stiffness to weight of 100, 106. Carbon fiber is no doubt a strong component. Now, let's compare carbon fiber to aluminum and steel. 202043 aluminum, which has a modulus of 10 nanosi, and an ultimate tensile strength of 65 ksi, and 4130 steel, which has a modulus of 30 msi, an ultimate tensile strength of 125 ksi. Let's see how carbon fiber performs against steel. Steel will permanently deform at a stress level below its ultimate tensile strength. The stress level at which this occurs is called yield strength. Carbon fiber, on the other hand, will not permanently deform below its ultimate tensile strength, so it effectively has no yield strength. From the above analysis, Aptera can be said to be on top form with regards to its body structure's composite material, Bincy, making it a good choice if you are looking for a durable and safe car. Though Aptera is still pending crash testing, which will put Aptera's body to the test, it is, but for sure that Aptera Motors has made the right choice for its composite body materials. With this said, let us go on to look at the in-wheel drive system of Aptera. 
Aptera has been noted for its smooth driving capabilities. Since Aptera uses in-wheel motors from Elefe, it is possible to independently drive the front wheels and the back wheel in the AD D version. This has quite some benefits. For instance, when a vehicle goes through a corner, the inner wheels will need lower rotational speed than the outer wheels. Normally, a differential makes sure this is possible. The downside of simple differential, however, is that if one wheel loses grip, the power transfers to that wheel and you've lost all drive. With the in-wheel motors, the power can be controlled per wheel. So if one wheel loses grip, the power to that wheel can be reduced until it finds grip. It does affect the drive of the other wheel, leading to more stability and more grip. This video of Velefi's competitor Prochin gives a visual representation of what happens when torque vectoring is applied. Achieving stability with the three wheels is obviously more difficult than with four wheels. Aptera promises good stability though, and to achieve this the following design choices have been made. Torque vectoring, large distance between the front wheels, low center of gravity 70 thirtieths, front to back weight distribution. By placing the batteries under the seats, these promising numbers are achieved. This video of the beta prototype built specifically for optimizing the suspension, shows that the Aptera is extremely stable and won't tip over in a moose test situation. Although Aptera is very lightweight and only has one back wheel, with that much pressure on it, Aptera claims it's not more sensitive to crosswind. In fact, it claims that Aptera has a 110 miles per hour crosswind stability, as most flat-sided cars apparently start moving around 80 to 90 miles per hour. The aerodynamics of Aptera don't just work front to back. Aptera Motors, a pioneer in solar EVs and a long-standing Elef partner has announced the details of powertrain mass production plans. Elef will manufacture and supply Aptera with in-wheel motors, leading to a 100,000 unit annual capacity at the production center in Slovenia and further expansion of capacities in the US. The Elef and Aptera story goes back to 2010 but the idea for this innovative vehicle, unparalleled to anything on the market yet, needed to mature as did the market. A few years back our paths crossed again with a clear and shared vision of our founders. To use each other's pioneering achievements to enable the Aptera vehicle, a synonym for superior efficiency and aerodynamics, enabled by Elefi's powertrain platform. Aptera and Elefi have inked a deal for series production, this serves as a confirmation of our efforts and engineering results. Not only by developing tailor-made in-wheel motors based on the vehicle needs, but by supporting them in developing functional prototype vehicles, providing access to the full offering of the Elefi platform, from motors to vehicle control systems. All to enable them to be the best and the first in what they do. As stated in the original press release, Link, Elefi's technology has allowed Aptera to effectively innovate and build its cutting-edge vehicles at a rapid pace. And with Aptera's focus on vehicle efficiency, in-wheel motors offer a compact, high-torque solution, allowing for the vehicle's enhanced aerodynamics, lighter overall vehicle weight, and improved handling, resulting in better mileage and so fit. Before we continue, if you like what you are seeing, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share with your friends, Tell us what you think about Aptera's capabilities in the comment section. We would love to know your point of view. Now let's get back to business. To continue to support Aptera and our other customers such as Lightyear and Lordstan Motors, Elefi is working on scale-up activities. With a $368 million scaling plan, which was set to be finalized in the period between 2021 and 2024, Elefi will establish a new 100 and 60,000 square foot R and D and production center, leading to 100,000 plus unit annual capacity for in-wheel motors. We're very excited to work with Aptera as the vehicle is a great fit with Elefi in-wheel powertrain technology. It both requires and benefits from motor packaging, low energy losses and vehicle dynamics side of things. With a fruitful collaboration and ideas coming into reality, we are looking forward to future work on accelerating their green movement. Solar is in production with Maxine Solar Cells. 
Aptera announced solar cell supplier. Maxian Solar Technologies, Aptera's solar electric vehicles, SEVs, are transforming mobility. With standard EVs requiring frequent charging and reliance on the grid, Aptera offers something different. The future. Equipped with almost 700 watts of integrated solar cells, Aptera drives up to 40 miles per day just by absorbing the sun's rays, in addition to a 1,000-mile battery range. With minimal energy loss, Aptera's automotive-grade solar represents a brand new market sector and a way for EVs to end their reliance on the grid for charging. Aptera is pleased to name Maxian Solar Technologies as a cell supplier for our solar production program. With cross-company collaboration, Aptera's solar engineers have created ultra-lightweight and curved solar panels that will set the standard for efficiency. At Aptera's defying conventions of aerodynamics, the integration of these cells will enable the vehicle to achieve unprecedented solar range. Aptera co-CEO Chris Anthony says, we're excited to award our solar cell supply business to Maxian, an industry leader advancing the highest quality solar products. This strategic alliance between Maxian and Aptera will take Aptera into the next phase of our growth, setting the pace for us to make our vision of solar mobility a reality for everyone. With Maxian, we are reinventing transportation, bringing the most efficient solar vehicle to market. Aptera selected Maxian solar cells because they are highly efficient, durable, and lightweight. With minimal energy loss, the Maxian Gen 3 solar cells are crucial to Aptera's solar mobility movement. Powered by these unique, high-efficiency cells, most drivers will likely never need to charge their Aptera. Built from 35 years of boundary-pushing solar DNA, Maxian Solar Technologies is a leader in solar innovation with access to over 1,000 patents. Maxian Solar Cells are designed to be different and have proven to be better across more than five cell generations, with over 3.5 billion cells in use today in even the harshest of conditions. Mark Babcock, Interim CEO and Chief Revenue Officer at Maxian Solar Technologies, shares, were pleased to have been selected by Aptera to bring this next phase of solar innovation to market. At Maxian, we provide the highest quality and most efficient solar technology and Aptera's mission to pioneer solar mobility is the natural progression of this innovation. The vehicle will feature the same extraordinary cells as those found in our high-efficiency solar panels powering homes and businesses. A true testament to our innovation as a solar leader. Thanks for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so to always be one of the first people to see our new posts. I hope you enjoyed the briefing. See you in the next video. Thank you.